Let's take a look at how to multiply fractions. We will start with a very straightforward example. One third times two fifths. Multiplying fractions is quite easy. We have to remember to multiply the numerators to get the answer numerator and multiply the denominators to get the answer denominator. One times two is two. Three times five is 15. So 2 over 15 is the answer to this question. What if you have a mixed number, like 1 and 2 thirds? You have to convert it into an improper fraction before you can start. And the way you do that is big number times denominator plus numerator gives you your new numerator. Big number 1 times denominator 3 is 3 plus the numerator 2, 3 plus 2 is 5. Our new numerator is 5. The denominator stays the same, so 3 goes down here. Five times three is 15. Three times seven is 21. But this fraction can be reduced. 15 and 21 have a common factor of three. If we divide both of them by three, 15 divided by three is five, 21 divided by 3 is 7. Our answer is 5 over 7. What if we have a negative sign in one of the fractions, or in both fractions? Well, we've already learned integers. We've learned how to deal with signs. We have to remember those rules when we do this multiplication. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. 4 times 5 is 20. We have negative 12 over 20. But 12 and 20 have a common factor of 4, so we will divide both of them by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. We have negative 12 over 20, so we have negative 3 over 5 as our answer. Here's another one with a mixed number. Big number times denominator, 2 times 4, that's 8. Add that to the old numerator, 8 plus 1 is 9. We have 9 over 4. The denominator stays the same. Times 7 thirds. 9 times 7 is 63. 4 times 3 is 12. 63 and 12 have a common factor of 3. We divide them both by 3, and we get 21 over 4. The answer is an improper fraction. We should convert it into a mixed number to give a most simplified answer. 4 goes into 21 five times. 4 times 5 is 20. 21 minus 20 is 1. There is 1 left in the numerator, and we still have 4 as our denominator. 5 and 1 quarter is the answer.